Hi guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2019 video. Today we are doing a route that I didn't even know existed. That's a, that is a half truth. I didn't. Um, last Sunday I was approached by uh, Max. He's the guy that is building the Doncaster Leeds route. One version of it anyway. And he said, I've updated the route. Would you like to have a go on it? And I said, yes. And he sent me over and I was looking and I was like... Seems a bit weird. Why am I doing this in a 150? Surely it'd be a 321 or a 91 or a 90 even or a DVT or whatever. And then we loaded up and realised we were doing Leeds to York. And I was like, what? But yes, we have the next version of the the next leg of the route complete now, which is brilliant. It's a fantastic news. The My last video on this route was the 30th of November, and they've now chucked in, what, another, I don't know how many miles it is up to, to York, maybe 30, 40 odd. But it's a whole new section of the route. So the, we now have the line that goes uh, between sort of, instead of like the, the Harrogate Loop being the top, like the north bit, uh, this bit sort of goes does Leeds Crossgate Garforth East Garforth Micklefield Church Fenton Ullis Kelf, and then York so it's that way it's quite interesting I had I've never been on this bit of the line in real life it's even Max says there is a stretch in it that is quite boring I didn't I quite enjoyed it I, I live near the Fens so uh, even a trip to Peterborough or King's Lynn is <laughs> not exactly what you'd call interesting scenery but I was really impressed. This scenario I really enjoyed, and I thought you guys deserve to see this as well. Please do note, it is still work in progress. This is not the final version. Everything is done scenery-wise um, and all of that. There is just trackside scenery that needs redo that needs doing and adding and things like that. And there's a couple of uh, track height issues and a couple of speed limits that need changing. Max is quite aware of those already. Um, but if you do notice anything glaringly, do let me know in the comments. I can pass them on to him as him and Dom and Ben and uh, even Pete's helping him out with this route as well. So there's, there's a lot of people involved in this. Hence why it's probably gone so quickly. Um, as you guys will know, this uses the leads from the Harrogate Loop, which I think was originally made by wagons or somebody weird like that. We'll get on with it. We'll talk a little bit more. I've got some stuff to talk about about the website as well, if you want to know a little bit about that. And just anyway, having a good look at this route is a, is a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Let's get doors open. <coughs> My instrument lights on, marker lights on, headlights on, tail lights off. Master key on, into neutral, cancel AWS, and then I'm on York. You'll notice that my windows have been messed about with, I think that's Railworks Enhancer. I don't know what it's quite doing to the interior of the cab of this as well, but I'm going to go with it anyway. It doesn't look brilliant, I, I do know that. But it will do. It will do for the journey. It's not about the unit. We've covered the unit. It's a wonderful unit with the AP back installed. Right, so what was the same? What was actually the miles? Uh, where is it? Might be a mad and just not seeing this. We'll catch it on the way anyway. Right, okay. Oh, no. We've still got red, so I'm not going to give that two buzzes back to drive. I'm going to try, try and drive this semi pro today, you know what I mean? I'm going to try. I'm not going to make any promises. This is the second time I've done this video. I got just before. The second uh, double yellow that we get on this, and the AWS kicked in because I was clicked on the other screen talking about the route, and it all went a bit peak tongue. Right. Let's get going. You notice coming out of Leeds, we do have some track bleed issues. That is to do with track height. Uh, it's being sorted. It 
is being sorted. Just I love the way they, they always tell me uh, there's not scenery's not complete, nothing's complete yet. And it still looks stunning. It still looks really, really, really good. Pretty sure whatever's ahead of me is quite fast because I didn't hit it the last time. Although that's now at Sigwiel, so maybe I did. Maybe I'm a bit quicker than I was last time. I'm really looking forward to doing a scenario where I can literally swoop out of Neville Hill with an, a, a ECS service into Leeds, then Leeds, Doncaster, Doncaster all the way down to, to King's Cross. I'm actually really, really looking forward to that. Here, a Finchie 185. Um, always good questions about the 185. So, the 185 is freeware, um, it was made quite a while ago. Uh, it is drivable if you have the Great Eastern Mainline and the 360, it uses a 360 cab. Uh, I will add the uh, link to it in the description below as per usual lots of people comment on my links the links have all been updated to the ones that are usable at the moment um, that sort of brings me on to talking about the website oh Neville Hill lovely jabbly um, so you'll notice things like uh, CH scenarios and TSD are gone at the minute uh, so a lot of the TSD content will be coming over to Alan Thompson Simulation and all of uh, CH Scenarios content will be coming over to Alan Thompson Simulation along with various other people's content as well so there's going to be an awful lot of freeware content available on my site uh, we're hoping to launch sort of mid middle of January so, so, so about next week some point uh, and there's, there's two ways of looking at this so one way is there is a new train sim freeware site it's fine it's there that's what it is all the freeware is there is freeware so everything that was freeware anywhere else or that anybody wants any developers want to have as freeware is still freeware on my website um there is a other side to my website and that is a subscription it's a yearly subscription of 29.99 uh, there is no monthly uh, because of what you're going to get with it. So I can't tell you the full details of the launch promotion just yet, but what I can say to you is you're going to end up with about 20 quid's worth of um, large large name developer DLC for nothing. Uh, well, for, for signing up for the £30 a year. 
So if you take off those two bits of DLC you're getting anyway, you're, you're looking at 9.99 for the year realistically. Uh, but it will still cost you 29.99. What you're also going to get with that is twofold. There will be a monthly uh, scenario. It could be a two or three scenarios. It might just be one really long one. But there will be a monthly top pick scenario by me. Um, I wouldn't have made the scenario, but it would be me picking it. You'll also get early access to um, some very interesting new developments. I can't say this route, but I know you'll get early access to things like the East Coast Mainline Merge, uh, the Missing Link route. There are a few other bits and pieces that are be massively being worked on that uh, you will get access to earlier than anybody else by signing up as a subscriber to the website. There is no download threshold, okay, for the freeware site, just to make that very, very clear. So it's not like UKTS, uh, where you are being throttled if you're not a premium member. No, no. The freeware stuff you'll still get at the right speed at the right time. And we don't use sites like Mediafire or things like that. The links come from a proper server, well hosted. It's it's all there. So there's no flapping about. The other side to the subscription side of things is for those of people who are A short on time in train sim and B not competent in installing reskins. So those of you that can't be bothered to faff around and find all DLC and download all DLC to make routes and reskins work and then faff about with it covering geos and copying geos over from here to there, I have the solution for that. So what's going to happen is there will be the, a lot of the same stuff that's on the freeware side will still be the, the usual installation method. On the premium side, there will be a tool, a bit of software that has been uh, lovingly crafted as we speak. And it's not fully, fully finished just yet, but it's so close, it's lovely. Um, what that will basically mean is that you can click on a download, plop it into this bit of software, and it does everything for you. It copies over the geos, it puts it in the right place. So you don't have to faff about. You don't have to mess about with your folder. You don't have to go into your folder and accidentally delete something. You have to verify files or pull it off a backup. This bit of software will take care of all that for you. Now, you will need to be a subscriber to the website to get that. Okay, that's not going to be a free bit of software. That software you will get free once you're a subscriber. All right, so I'm not actually selling you anything as such. Uh, these just become free when you have subscribed. If you don't and you stick to the freeware stuff, it's no problem. I really, really have no problem at all. I know £30 in the, in the grand scheme of things is a lot of money to ask for. But if you actually break it down, it's about £2.50 a month. Um, I didn't want to go down the monthly subscription route because it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for what we want. It doesn't work for the way we're doing releases. Um, it wouldn't work with keeping the software in check. It's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not something I can consider at the moment. Now, if the site goes massive and all of a sudden there's there's five, 6,000 subscribers, there is a possibility that things can change in the future. What you're really backing in this first few months and first year of doing this is for the site to grow. Think of it a bit like a Kickstarter. So we have lots of projects. There are, there are about three to four that are really, 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 really good. And those four projects just need a little bit of a kick up the bum. They need to kick up the bum time-wise and money-wise. And that is kind of what this is going to do. And then you will see either an Alan Thompson simulation route, an Alan Thompson simulation train maybe. You might see a, another payware developer that's, that's coming, another developer that's coming out that wants their payware on my site. So you, you might get some money off that if you're on the subscriber side as well. So there's all sorts of little bits and pieces that can come with this. The main thing to remember is I want to be able to give back to developers. So those people putting things on the site and those people putting things, um, giving us early access to, taking the extra time to make sure things are perfect and putting installers into things. I want to be able to give back. This isn't just a greedy, I need money. This isn't going to be me with a yacht in the Bahamas as much as I would love it to be. It's never going to be. It's going to be making the community better. It's going to be making the community 
it, I want to get rid of this tier system of those that know how to do things and those that don't. That's my biggest gripe, and probably my biggest gripe in the whole TS community is people dismissing people that don't understand how to do things. Now, there are a lot of those people that don't understand how to do things because they haven't taken the time to read how to do things, like a README or, or things like that, and there are those people that genuinely just don't understand that, and I don't mind that. As long as you've taken time to read something and they're not coming on going, it's broken! You haven't read the manual, mate. I want to eliminate the whole, this hierarchy of who can install what. And that's what this bit of software will do. That's what this tool will do. It will make third party routes and reskins and stock way more accessible. And affordable, actually, if I'm honest with you. The more the site can back and the more we can push through, the more we can give back, the more discounts we can offer on, on, on certain products, the more the cheaper things actually end up. It's, it's scale. It's scale. So yeah, I'll do an actual dedicated video to that. Anyway, I'll do a dedicated video to that because we've just missed the first station. I should really be talking about that. But I'm too excited and I keep waffling on about my own stuff and that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to waffle on about this stuff, which is Max, Dom and... Ben and Pete really I think so as you can see there's no very fine line side detail so you haven't got two you've got you've got cable trunking but you haven't necessarily got lots of things like AWS boxes little cameos you haven't got that much rubbish you've got the odd bit of rail here and there but there's not a lot it's a bit bare on the sides and that's what's been worked on as we speak I do not have a release date for this, so please, please, even put it in the comments, it's not going to get answered, and you're probably just going to get a torrent of people going, why did you ask that? Alan said it in the video. Oh, I'm coming way too hard here. slide over and I apologise. Too busy talking. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to drive this properly as well. So let's have a look at East Garth Garforth. 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 So it's got all the station sign in. Oh, I've got, oh there's a shelter that I'm missing. That's what it is. I think I missed it on one of the other platforms as well. Again, very nicely done. How bad was my overrun? All pretty bad. All pretty bad. Not the worst I've done in a video, I'd say. See, I don't know how many masses of new assets have been built for this or anything like that. I don't know if there's been any, but uh, they've made good use of what's already there, I think. So it won't be exactly right. I, I always ask people to sort of, does this look like your local station if you're here, da-da-da-da-da? And um, some people get really, really pernickety. Like, like, like I, I don't just mean like, DCG have made some big errors in their time and lots of freeware developers have had to make do with what they've got and it hasn't looked right but it is kind of there but I've like, had like people like yeah that flower pot isn't is the other side of that door not that side 
Okay, cool, mate. That's fine. I think like DTG call them a, what do they try and call them? An, a simulator, really? Oh, I can't remember what they call their trains. It's in the end of their manuals these days, isn't it? The sounds are, in, are a representation of the true train. Micklefield next. Why is that not coming up? Isn't is it? Must be something to be with with a bit of work in progress rate, you can expect little bits and pieces like that. But that might be something to do the way that, to do with the way this the scenario has been set up, I don't know. You just gotta love people's dedication to be doing things like this, don't you? They've done a spectacular job already. I'm a little bit behind schedule. I need to make sure I sort that out, actually. Less talking, more driving, Al. <clears throat> Less talking, more driving. I even put the reverser into neutral there. Look, look at that. Look at that. Pro. <laughs> As I always say, you're not here for the professional driving. If you want that, heading over to PTG. He's the, the king of that sort of thing.
So I think if I'm right, this bit here, is this where I think this is? Yes, yeah, so if you carried on up the, the right hand side path, that would be on the way to Hull. And I, I'm not, I think that is on the cards, I'm not 100% sure. It would be good because uh, with uh, DPS's Northeast network and all of that coming out, we could then quite easily do pretty much every, most services off the East Coast Main Line. Yeah, I think this is where what Max called the boring bit. This was five miles, he said it was just five miles of track. Actually, I quite like it because it does slightly remind me of the fens. Just more trees on this, slightly greener. I'm pretty sure that's not a missing bridge. Pretty sure that's meant to be like a disused bridge. Now, when I was streaming this, we got into quite a big debate about uh, trees, about the difference between. I've spoken about this before in videos 2D trees and 3D trees. Um, and how actually a lot of people are very keen on 3D trees near the track, which I think is all well and good. Because you get the shadows and things like that. But, I think 2D trees sometimes look better. Bad, isn't it? Really bad. People will get quite angry about that one, but it is how I feel. And uh, Max on here has used... 2D bushes because they I think sometimes still the, the 3D 3D foliage like the bushes and stuff has a place don't get me wrong and 3D trees definitely have a place don't get me wrong but I think people that solely say I'm not putting any 2D trees in my route there's a time and a place for them oh and we're going way faster than we should but I am trying to make up those extra couple of minutes sound pack on this train has got some unbelievable levels of detail. Sorry, it's not a sound pack. It was the 150-1 enhancement pack this one was. Church Fenton, no, it's Alaskelf. No, I've got watch speed limits on. Oh no, actually, it might be here.
This is Church Fenton. I think it was this platform he wanted. Somebody said that. I think it was 317 Dan said they needed taller lights. So I think Max is looking into putting taller lights on. Oh, it's a farty pacer. That's what my bottom sounds like after lentil soup. Pacer bottom does sound sound like some sort of condition, doesn't it? I think it captures the route very nicely. It captures this part of the country very nicely. I mean, the route I can't be massively accurate on, but it seems to get it right. And quite a few people in the stream were from this area. Uh, 317 Dan in particular knew this route very, very well. Sp had spotted here with his granddad and all sorts beforehand, and he was very, very impressed with the route. And that black bloke knows detail. It's the bridge at this platform of what shoves. Supposedly it's been very well done. I did actually find myself, before anybody said anything about it, going up it because it was quite an odd angle. I quite liked it. So I'll do what I did on stream. As I went up the ramps. I thought that was quite a clever way of doing it. So you've got some stairs if you want to get up a bit quicker, but you can also walk up the ramp. Oh, I thought, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, I didn't take my reverser off there. That was a bit silly of me.
Right, crossings, if I remember rightly, up here are 70, and I'm in, I'm, I can tab the red signal before York. And don't pull right up to the buffers of the platform at York, otherwise the doors won't open. It's this bit where it's like, I think uh, Dan was saying there was another station here as well at some point, hence why it sort of swooped round a bit. Down with B, if I remember rightly, Bradford something, was it a Bradford one? Or a Bolton? Or a, somewhere like that. Not actually the cities of course, but a village that's named of the same kind. So for Colton Junction, I'm sure we've got 70s. Somebody was correct, yes. And then hereabouts we'll be joining on to the Creative, Ma Creative Rails East Coast Main Line. So any scenery from here on in is Creative Rails, it's not uh, Max and that. Max of 75, bombing it up the East Coast Main Line. <laughs> Love it. Love it. It's a great run. At, 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 like, at 45 minutes, you feel like you're doing a journey. It's one of those routes where you feel like you've done a journey. When you get to York, you feel like you've done an actual journey.
Right, these, these signals I can basically ignore. DVT leading, what's it leading? Oh, BBMF. Just a quick reminder guys, this is a work in progress route. I don't have a release date for it yet, but I, all I know is it will be soon. And I can pass this because it's not as bad. Because I've got my little, yeah, my little whites. Here we are coming to York. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the work in progress version of the route. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Heading over to Twitch on a Sunday night from 7 and a Wednesday night from 7. Please note Twitch is way more adult. It is more of an adult community. So if you do wish to come on over there, be warned. Um, heading over to the Facebook group. Anytime you want. That's always there links in the description below for that as well the link in the description <coughs> is in the description below for the website as well it's not active yet i will i will warn you that now it'll be in the link just because i've had to update my links but it won't it's not the work the site is not ready yet um you guys will get an announcement when their site's up and running and everything as well so as i said i can't pull up here because otherwise my doors are home so i'm gonna have to stop here unfortunately um creative rails fault not max's fault so, once again, guys, thanks ever so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.